Welcome to Tesla Info and today we're taking a look at Tesla depreciation over 2023 using real data. Anyone following our channel probably knows that we actually have lots of inventory on our website including uh, used cars as well as directly from Tesla. So we can actually take a holistic view of the market uh, and not just the ones that are listed on the Tesla website. And for each car we build a profile of the price history and the market history so we can see how the prices have changed over time. We've put some of the more significant data into a spreadsheet, worked out the price drop and what it is as a percentage and now we're going to take you through the results. Before we dive into the numbers which sadly don't look too pretty let's have a look at what depreciation sort of typically is and this is a US website I think there's lots of different pundits have it and essentially you know, in the first year you lose the most, but there after you know fifteen twenty percent is not an unusual figure to for a car to depreciate year on year. Uh, the best cars uh, in terms of low depreciation are things like the Porsche nine eleven, and the worst ones have a five year depreciation of up to around sixty five percent. Okay, now let's look at Tesla data and the Model 3. And we've picked a 2020 Model 3 performance. So this is a car that's actually two years old going into 2023. So it's not brand new. So we're not talking about first year depreciation. And we're seeing falls of up to 37% for that model. Now there could be a couple of reasons for that. It could be the fact that the car's you know not far off four years old. Um, it's a pre-heat pump car, so there's been a model change since. Um, but it's also you know it's the Highland replacement um, is on its way. But either way, you know a 37% depreciation in the UK is a pretty significant depreciation on a used car. And it's not just the UK. In the US, the same car has had about a 28% fall. And we can see the chart here. You know, and these cars, have, you know, there's a lot of them for sale. 80, 90, 100 cars in the market at any given point of time. You can also tell from the curve that the of depreciation is pretty much steady um, in terms of continuation. Um, it's not just the UK and the US. If we go to Germany as a, as a you know, exemplar of European models, um, again, we have a similar quite high depreciation level. Some of the continental numbers we have uh, have a slower number of cars, so the graphs tend to be a bit spikier because they get skewed more by individual cars, but it's still pretty high. Now, if we compare it to the BMW i4, this 2021 model in the UK, we can see that the, the, the depreciation is only 23%. So, you know, a good 10 to 14% lower for a one year younger car than the uh, Model 3 performance. If we scan our eyes further down the table, you know, we are seeing some of the older cars, you know, certainly things like the Nordics with depreciation figures of 17, 18%. Um, you know, that's pretty good getting much more nearer the norms. Um, but as we saw, the norms are probably more like 15% for a car that is two or three years old. We're now going to take a look at the Model Y. Um, now, bear in mind, this is 2023 data and the car only came out in 2022 in, in the UK. It's a newer model. Um, some of the data is less uh, available, but the highest depreciation one is Canada. Now from the data, we can see there was a you know, pretty sizable drop in early 2023, which may be a, a regulatory change, um, which created uh, the size of that drop. But 38% is enormous in one year. If we look at 2022 data or 2022 model year cars for the UK, which is the year they first came out, we can actually see um, pretty sizable drops there too. Now, when this car first came out, it actually held its price fairly well and even went up. The used market was higher, but from late August 2022, the price basically went into free fall and has been falling rapidly and steadily ever since, resulting in a 31% reduction in 2023 alone. 
Now, again, if we sort of scan across different countries, we can see, you know, 25, 27 percent is not unusual. Uh, again, the Nordics and specifically Norway seems to be one of the lowest appreciation countries. And maybe this is a reflection on Norway being quite a mature market. But what we can see is, is the fact that other than 2023 long range, which is actually could be influenced heavily by new models, um, it, you know, 21, 22, 23, they all have similar depreciation. It doesn't seem to fall off as the car gets older. Again, if we look at the market comparison and this time to an iX3, we see that the depreciation for that is only 22% in the same year. So it's really as good as Norway is at its best. Okay, finally, we're going to have a look at the Model S. Model X is very similar. And here we can see the impact of price changes. So we're going to ignore the first couple of rows first and just look at the US market where the 2023 played effectively had a 33% fall in that year. And really it's no surprise because it was driven heavily by the price cuts that Tesla made to the list price. Obviously not good if you bought in at 140,000 plus dollars to know your car less than a year later was worth a little over 90. And while 90,000 may seem a great price to buy now, what we've also seen is the fact that these depreciation lines tend to continue beyond into future years. If we look at the UK, um, we've got some anomalous data in terms of 2019 cars um, being priced strange. This is a year they changed from a P100D to performance, the Raven models. Um, but even the best case, it was a 27% drop on a on essentially a four-year-old car. But if you look at a 75D, um, which is almost like the entry price and sort of what was seen as a good value, we're seeing that as a 36% drop on a four-year-old car in one year. Now, while we see the drop quite clearly from January till sort of the middle of the year, it seems to have leveled off a little bit, two or three thousand. You know, we're not entirely sure there's a there's a safe time to buy even older cars you know these cars some of them are getting certainly out of general warranty some of them aren't far off out of battery and uh, drivetrain warranty um you know you're taking a bit of a punt so don't expect to buy a three four five year old tesla and expect its uh, value to effectively plateau so sort of try and give some other market context we looked at the bmws earlier the taycan and this is a 2020 uh, 4s similar to the the model 3 performance we looked at earlier um over the same time period as we were looking over 2023 its fall is about 34 percent so actually pretty similar to the uh, the tesla price drops and the taycan is is, is laughed at on a lot of uh, social media has been a heavily depreciating car so what's our conclusion? Well, I guess it's no real surprise, you know, the prices are falling quite hard. You know, in general, EV prices are falling and Tesla have been dropping their new car list prices, which is obviously going to have a knock on down the chain. Um, what we are also seeing is the fact that the older cars are depreciating just as heavily as the newer car. So it's just not a new car thing. There isn't a safe place to buy a three-year-old Tesla thinking the worst of the depreciation has gone. Maybe that's to do with the uh, warranty situation ending and people are not wanting to own cars out of warranty or there's just a higher increase in spec. If you can lock into a finance deal when you're buying, so you know like a lease or a you know or some sort of agreement where you can hand the car back then that may be a safe way to do will it bottom out who knows but at the moment there's only one way and that's down